A Sunbury couple is claiming abuse of power by the city. Today is Tuesday, March 19th, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. A chance of snow showers today, a high in the low 40s. The Sealands Grove man convicted of killing his estranged wife will spend the rest of his life in prison. On Monday, Brad Baylor was sentenced to life without parole for shooting and killing 32-year-old Leslie Baylor. A rape investigation is underway by state police in Lamar. There is a report of rape and child abuse that took place along Renova Road in January. Multiple female victims under the age of 18 are listed in the report. Two fathers are jailed following separate incidents in which they allegedly assaulted their children. A scared Williamsport teenage girl called 911 while hiding in a closet fearing for her life. Her father, Rashawn Rooley, had allegedly choked her, broke her glasses, and threatened to kill the teen. In another case, 60-year-old Timothy Franz of Montgomery is accused of punching his son in the face multiple times. Franz was released on bail, but then six days later he was arrested again for intimidation of a witness. He allegedly held a knife to his son's throat, threatening to kill him if the son testified against him in court. A federal lawsuit has been filed by a Sunbury couple who are claiming abuse of power by the Sunbury Codes Department. Thomas Wolf and Melissa Snyder are seeking $300,000 in damages. The Daily Item reports the allegations include the couple receiving numerous daily fines and Wolf being handcuffed and shackled in a chair when he entered the City Hall building to review the records of his property. All charges were eventually dismissed in that incident. Jessica Tressler of Center County has filed a lawsuit against the county, the jail, 21 corrections officers, and the jail's medical subcontractors. She claims she was labeled by the jail as a faker and drug seeker and denied medical treatment. She was eventually taken to the hospital and treated for internal bleeding, septic shock, and had to be airlifted to Geisinger in Danville, where she underwent two heart surgeries. Tressler is seeking $25 million in compensatory damages. It's still not known the intent of more than a dozen young men who were found on the old state school property in Union County. The 13, ranging in age from 17 to 23, were from Illinois State College and Westchester. All were charged with simple trespass. The Clinton County Farm Bureau recently made a donation to the Ronald McDonald House in Danville. They delivered over $3,000 in cash along with food, paper products, and can tabs. It was part of the 26th anniversary of the Farmers Care event. The Standard Journal is reporting the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile will visit Brown Avenue Park in Milton on April 20th. It will be part of the Milton Little League opening day. And are you ready for the eclipse? Numerous events are planned across the state for the April 8th event. For many, it will be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. In the mid-state, the eclipse will block about 94% of the sun and will be noticeable between 2.40 p.m. and 3.40 p.m., You're being advised to use eye protection when looking at the eclipse, such as special glasses certified for viewing. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.